Hi, this time I have a different DIY project. I am building a wooden tangram puzzle set for two players. The other day we were watching this French TV series called Astrid and Raphael. In one of the scenes they were playing this tangram puzzle. Immediately I wanted to get one but I couldn't find anything online to my liking for two players. So I made it myself. If you do not know what a tangram puzzle is then here is a little info. A tangram is a 7 piece jigsaw puzzle that originated from China. The objective is to rearrange the pieces to form the shape on the picked card. It can be an alphabet, number, animal or just general objects. This puzzle is for all age ranges and depending upon the difficulty level, you can pick the shape cards. Solving tangram puzzles improves intelligence, hand-eye coordination, improves IQ level, perception, releases your work pressure and also prevents decline in memory for the elderly. When two or more people play, it's about who finishes the shape first and it's super fun and competitive. In this video, I'm going to make a wooden box with space for two puzzle sets with its own tray and shape cards. First, let's make the puzzle pieces. This is the standard puzzle pattern that you can download online. You can scale up the pattern or downscale depending on the size you want. I will leave the link to this pattern in the description below. I'm using a perfectly square half inch thick wood to cut my pieces. You can glue the pattern paper onto the wood and cut the shapes out or draw on the wood directly. I am using my miter saw to cut the pieces. Since these are small pieces, I clamped the wood fence for better support. First, I made the 45 degree angle cuts one by one and then straight cuts on the small pieces. Also, it matters which side of the marked line you have the blade curve. I will have them marked in the downloadable plans on my website. Just be careful with your hands when you get to the smaller pieces. Next, let's build a tray for these puzzle pieces. For the sides, I am cutting 3 8 inch thick wood into half inch thick pieces. Then sand at the cut sides to get rid of the blade marks. After that, I cut them to the required size with my rents. For the base, I am using an 8 inch thick ply. I cut that into squares and attach the sides on it with glue. All the measurements and the build plan will be in my written blog, so make sure to check it out if you want to make one yourself. Then I sanded all the pieces to have smooth edges and routed the edges off of the tray to give a nice smooth touch. I have done one set, now let's just make another one. Next, I printed a few sample cards to arrange and confirm the size of the box. 
I bought the digital version of these cards from an Etsy seller and printed them out at Walmart. The seller has three versions, easy, medium and hard in the bundle. You should check them out. They have different color options too. I bought the space still bundle and changed into the color I want and printed them. I took print of only the hard version of the cards for our own use. I'm planning to stack the puzzle sets on top of each other and store cards on the side. So that gives me the box dimensions. I'm making a box with a sliding acrylic lid. To build this, I have a half inch thick 3 feet long board. I cut them to the height of my box. For the base, I glued two ply sheets to make it 3 8 inch thick. Next, I made quarter inch deep dado for the bottom panel and the lid using the table saw. I marked the width on the wood and made multiple passes through the table saw to achieve the required width. And for the lid, I'm going to use 1 8 inch thick transparent acrylic that I had in hand from a previous project. After dados are made, I cut the sides to required lens with 45 degree miter ends. All the measurements and the build plan will be in my written blog, so make sure to check it out if you want to make one yourself. I taped the three sides together and measured the required bottom panel width and made the cut. Remember to do a test fit to get the measurements right. I always cut them a little bigger than the measured size and shave off little by little to get the tight fit. Same way cut the acrylic lid. It has to be cut to the same dimensions as the bottom panel. You can use the same blade on the table saw to cut the acrylic as well. Next, I cut the top end of the fourth side piece. The cut has to be quarter inch below the dado. The bottom will be attached to the box and the top will act as a finger pull and it will be attached to the lid. Everything fits well, so I sanded the pieces and cleaned with tack cloth before gluing them up together. The lid is also attached to the finger pole with epoxy glue. After that, I sanded again to smoothen the edges and finished with a clear sealer. As a finishing touch, I also added a black felt backing and foam framing to hold the cards. 
With this setup, the puzzles and cards will stay in place and I can also get the puzzle trace out easily. If you like this DIY project, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have more interesting projects coming up. Until then, ta-ta, bye-bye, see you.